planet. <laughs> and if you ever need any late night Xeroxing or reproducing of any kind, <laughs> call my cell. I keep it in my pocket on vibrate so no call is unappreciated. <laughs> Smart and classy. And available. I'm a triple threat. You're a sexual harassment suit waiting to happen. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Baddish. You. Uh, Melody. Would you carry this coffee up to my office? The elevator's been a bit bumpy lately. It's a very expensive suit. You want me to carry your coffee? Uh, sure. It has a great point with the health care mm. point. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was what really got to me. Yeah. How women are treated so poorly in our health care system. Mm -hmm. What did you think of that? Well, I've been a part of the show for seven years. Oh, I've been wow. doing readings of it since the beginning, mm -hmm. and uh, it's always uh, it's always been a draw for me because you can't run into anyone that doesn't deal with, you know, some sort of insurance problem. Yes, everybody, unfortunately, in America, has some, know someone or themselves are dealing with some sort of insurance problem, health issue. It's just the world we live in right now. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's good to sort of wave it in people's faces and bring attention to it. And, but at the same time, find a way to make light of it and laugh. Yes. I think, and I read that it was based on Fran Drescher. It's loosely based on her experience. Right. Um, she, uh, I don't know how many years ago, was not feeling well. Mm -hmm. And she went to her doctor and they said, uh, you're fine. And she mm -hmm. said, there's something wrong. There's something wrong with me, I'm, I'm sure. And they're like, you're fine. And she, they said, you're too young to have certain tests, blah, blah, blah. She's like, I want those tests. Mm -hmm. And they said no. So she went somewhere else with her own money and said, give me all the tests, figure out what's wrong with me. And she had cancer. Oh. And it was stage one, so mm -hmm. they caught it early. And she is a, a survivor. And a, you know, to and she's day. in Cinderella now on Broadway. I know, killing it. Uh -huh. So that's, it's loosely based on her experience and how it's just... Had she not had the means, the money, you know, to take it upon herself, to take care of herself, she could have, she could have died. Right. Well, it's, it's important to people know about that. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of us don't have the kind of money to have that. And, right. you know, we might have died if yeah. we, you know. But I think money or no money, it's a lesson to just speak up for yourself. Yes. Keep pushing. If you, if you feel, trust yourself, if you feel like there's something wrong, you, you just, you have to trust yourself and keep pushing until you find an answer. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. Well, you're hilariously funny in this oh, show. You. And I mean, you're, you're nothing like your character. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little strains of her in me yes. somewhere. <laughs> you, dr you don't dress like that. No. No. <laughs> She's, are you want to tell us about your character and what she's I about? I play Nanette, right. and she, you know, her motto is dance while you can, because right. she herself has, I'm not going to give anything away, mm -hmm. but, you know, had some life-altering experiences and uh, really believes in living in the moment and uh, being happy and never taking anything for granted. Mm -hmm. So she believes in expressing herself and showing off her gift of her body as much as possible and loves men mm -hmm. yes or other things yes absolutely <laughs> yeah well that's great yeah and well you never know what happens in the end though <laughs> no <laughs> but she she's um she's a character yes she is yeah, yeah. and you're a trained dancer mm -hmm. i mean you... i started off as a dancer right mm -hmm. You were, you're known for curtains, your yeah. dance role in curtains. Yeah, that was such a wonderful, wonderful experience. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And I got to work with some incredible comedians, David mm -hmm. Hyde Pierce, Deb Monk, Edward great. Hibbert, you know, Karen Ziemba. Mm -hmm. So I just learned as much as I could from them. And that's great. I'm sure there's bits of them in Nanette. Oh, that's great. That's great. And you were in the Olympics. What was that like? Have you I played was the Olympics? in the opening ceremonies for the 1998 Nagano Olympics. Mm -hmm. I was in college. I took, a, I took no, just a couple weeks off mm -hmm. to go do that. And there were 20. I came to New York. Mm -hmm. I'm from Pittsburgh. I came to New York. I auditioned. They hired 20 American ballet dancers. I don't know how I got picked, but I was really, really grateful that I did. And uh, we went to Japan where we met 80 Japanese ballet dancers. And we did this huge 20-minute number that America never saw. <laughs> oh, you, no one saw Yeah, it? like, I think it was NBC still had the rights to the, the Olympics at the time. And they cut to an interview with Michelle Kwan. Oh. So you saw, like, the first part of our number, but mm -hmm. that was it. Oh, that's too bad. But that must have been <laughs> it was exciting. It an incredible experience. That's yeah. great. Yeah. 
Great. It was wild. Great. Well, p people have to come see you in, in yes, Under My Skin. Yes, please come see Under My Skin. Dance while you can. <laughs>